There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up. seen these before in the other vault and if all of those are the same as this then there must be hundreds of millions if not billions all that remains of the Dakon civilization a distinct person encapsulated in crystalline form preserved for all eternity Given the size of this vault, there must have been tens of thousands of these cases, representing billions and billions of Takan. A threat on a truly massive scale. One your Federation can't easily contend with. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization, as a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan. Should they fall prey to illness or injury? They were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. This was always their purpose. To restore the glory that was lost. Please. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture Lost with each one you murdered. I don't feel any shame for protecting my crew, or the rest of the Federation. A fanatic through and through. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Ophelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. You're talking about a crime against sentient life on a mass scale. Or an evolutionary process where the strongest and most capable survive. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan, but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. 
There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide, once we're safely aboard the Resolute. For to transport. to hear me out, Captain. I lost my eyes because of you. I committed mutiny for you. But if you bring those things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Aphelion, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solano. You, me, the entire crew, we're all next. Two minutes and counting. It's headed straight toward the vault. The Aphelion is coming into view now, Captain. second vault in less than a minute. I would remind you, those life forms are Takon. Not science, Takon. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Destroy the vault. Aye, Captain. Firing photon torpedoes. Target has been destroyed. I am alone. Again. As I was for all those years. Bringing those to Khan on board was too big a risk, and I couldn't leave them there. They could be used to bioform more of my crew, or even- I do not need your rationalization for mass murder. Your actions speak loudly enough. Captain, the Aphelion is targeting us. Approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray, and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here. Now!
There they are! You did what had to be done with the Tasker. It was the merciful thing to do. Itasca can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment. It wasn't a question of time. It was about freeing Itasca. If you believe, I'm sure you'll see her again. I do. And I shall. Surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to Sick Bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chovak. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him. But I can just imagine the look on his face. Oh, come on, he's gotta give us some credit for all we've done. We'll see. Then again, if he doesn't, that's just Chovak being Chovak. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're going to be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it. Everybody's going to learn how you pulled it off. At the Academy? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't know about that. After this, you'll probably get a personal invitation to show them how it's done. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. Solano wasn't perfect, but... He was a good man. I'm sorry that happened to him. Yeah. We all are. But we'll rally around Captain Rydek. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. Just agreeable? That's all you got? After we were lost, going who knows where, and almost didn't make it back. And yet, here you are, back with us once again. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. I am stating facts, not looking for excuses. Well, don't be so hard on yourself. Pardon me? After what the Resolute's just been through, no one's really expecting all the daily logs and reports to be on time and perfect. That is incorrect. I expect as much and will continue to hold my staff to account. Glad to see you haven't changed. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. When I heard you destroy the Takan Vault, I was surprised. By my order? By myself. Surprised that I was glad to hear it. 
The Hotari do not wage war or kill our enemies if we can avoid it. But hearing that the Takan, who have decimated my people, took such a loss... Is it wrong that it feels like justice? We've lost so much to the Takan. Things we can never get back. We sometimes have to take lives in the line of duty. But we can never take pleasure in it. A necessary evil? One of many. It's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. I know you had your reasons for destroying the Taconian crystals, and I won't question them. Hopefully this galvanizes the bridge crew behind your leadership. But I expect there will be fallout with Portal. Assuming he's still with us, I sincerely doubt he's indifferent to what happened. He's not happy about it, but once I explain my reasoning, I think he'll understand. As long as you're prepared either way, that's all I can ask. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. It basically comes down to Westbrook, Ermot, or Bedrosian. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, But ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Lieutenant Bedrosian has always been devoted to you. And Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. If I were to take everything into consideration, then Lieutenant Bedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. Well, despite a lack of seniority, still a solid candidate. Some would argue, though, that you wanted to go the easy route. Someone less likely to disagree with you. But... That's entirely your prerogative. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. Petty officers Diaz and Edselar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual, but I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. I'll allow it, Mr. Chobach. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edselar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. But there were way more people involved than just me. Not only Petty Officer Edselar, but we had help from an Elidian officer named Arminta as well. Interesting. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Reindick, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead, the Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own as well as Portal 6-3's methods. 
The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed? Well, as simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that it could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this... remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? The Zeldi's shields were stronger than anticipated. If the Aphelion has even more effective protection, we'll have difficulty breaking through. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. ...and destroy it from the inside. Modify photon torpedoes to use as explosives. So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. I'll have security personnel prep a boarding party, should the... Opportunity arise. Petty officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't a rescue. It's a tactical incursion. Do you really have some special insights as Commander Chovak suggests? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan Tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. We have plenty to do and no time for speeches. Let's get to work. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The resolute command codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. 
Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydick. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek. Bravo, 7, Yankee. Captain's codes transfer. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is my honor to name Lieutenant Bedrosian as the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Wow. Congratulations, Lieutenant. I don't even know what to say. I just... thank you. Computer, Lieutenant Bedrosian is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Bedrosian, Gamma 5-9. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain Ryder! Excuse me for a minute. This... this is just unbelievable, unacceptable, inexplicable! To be the most senior officer on the bridge, and to be passed over again? I couldn't believe you went to Lieutenant Bedrosian with the information about Captain Solano being compromised instead of me. But this... I've never felt more humiliated. Listen, I know you're disappointed. I would be too in your position. But considering our history and what we're up against, I had to decide what would be best for all of us. Which is why I chose Lieutenant Bedrosian. And that... that is the greatest insult of all! One of the most junior officers on the bridge! Bedrosian doesn't have the experience to be an effective first officer. It'll never work. You might as well have chosen Handar! It doesn't make any sense. Bedrosian, of all people. If this was a scientific mission, that would be one thing. But considering what we're up against, Lieutenant Bedrosian is exactly what we need to respond to the challenge. If anyone can find Galvin's weakness, it's her. I see it differently. So I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. Ridiculous. understand. Give me everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. I know the process, Captain. With your permission, I'll go handle it. Of course. The Aphelion's impressive. I'll give them that. If they catch up to us, we better be ready to fight. Maybe we can use Galvin's confidence against them, and somehow turn that to our advantage. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. Captain Rydak. Destroying millions of Draconian lives was a fatal mistake. 
and I will personally make sure you stay alive long enough to regret it. You were right to run, but there is no escape from the inevitable. That was just the beginning, Galvin. I'm coming for you next. I've had enough of the charade. You've outlived your usefulness. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. That I could crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. decks but there's no sign of structural damage they were targeting the crew not the ship we have to strike back while we still can. Fire phasers! Target the source of the beam! Phasers are having no impact, Captain. We can't get past their shields. The Aphelion's just too powerful. Damage report from the lower decks. Still can't get through on the comms, Captain. If that was the bioforming ray, we have to assume there are now Takan on board the Resolute. They could all be Takan at this point. Or will be soon enough. Seal the bridge. No one gets access without my permission. I think that would be wise. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated iridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Dakan to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric signature. There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from Stand the- Stand aside. 
the signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. That's great. You must be Portal 6-3. Yes. Guardian of the Tacon Empire. I'm Carter. Uh, engineer of the Starship Resolute. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. It's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. No turning back now, Paul. Indeed not. I am right where I need to be. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. The signal's gone. Are they there? Did you get them? They didn't make it. We don't have time to mourn. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. It's served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. This way. Nothing. I can't reach anyone on the lower decks. Internal comms appear to be fully operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. Fighting the Aphelion is bad enough. The last thing we need is an insurrection on our own ship. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before... spread throughout the decks. We'll never know who to trust. We're leaving nothing to chance. Vent the air out of Deck 9. Everyone in that area will die. I understand that. It's your decision. Opening the air vents on Deck 9. What happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We should be cautious. If a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. We've already lost enough of them. Of course. I will let the crew know to proceed with caution. If they're bioformed, they're not our crew anymore. 
Commander Westbrook has been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Westbrook? Commander Westbrook, are you there? Computer shutdown initiated. Commander Westbrook? He's the one who initiated the shutdown. That's impossible. We have ten minutes until the computer core shuts down and all systems are completely offline. A complete loss of all critical ship functions. Only the captain can override it. But the computer core itself... With me. Secure the area. I'll stop the computer shutdown. The master console is up there. I don't have much time. Captain's authorization. Computer termination sequence still in progress. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization writing. Bravo. Seven. Yankee. Termination sequence canceled. Are the arteries of power coming from the Cotabula at the heart of the Aphelion. Look there. I cannot move as freely inside this ship. Those emitters are why. If they were deactivated, I could travel past this chamber without setting foot in it. Only Takan can use Takan technology. How do I turn them off? Place these on the emitters. It will suppress their effect. The guards, none the wiser. Got it. I'm coming too. If we both get caught, it's over. If it's just me, you can try again after I fail. Well then, don't screw it up. Well done. Let's get out of here. More emitters. Guess we can't teleport the rest of the way. That craft can take us to the main power chamber. 
No way we can make that jump. When I was younger, maybe. Huh. This might control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. Things set to maximum stun. How are they getting up? Something's different about the Takan here. Stunning isn't an option. Get in! doing, old man? Portal! We need your help! I will not harm them. Yes, you do need my help. I am the last trueborn to con. To see my empire's legacy wiped from existence. Your captain has already destroyed so many. There are limits to what I will allow. Perhaps I have already allowed too much. Do you think you'd be better off with them? We're trying to prevent even more destruction and to protect the living. <laughs> Preventing destruction. When Riker and the Enterprise first woke me, I called them barbarians. I should have trusted my instincts. These are good and honorable people, even if their ways are different than my own. In fact, sometimes they are better. You can't lose your nerve now. We're so close. You question my nerve? <laughs> Clearly. You've never met a guardian of the Takan Empire before. Doing everything I can, but I can't shake her! Galvin's targeting our engines on purpose to cripple us, not destroy us. If we lose the engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. for impact! Here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. That flying chandelier really packs a punch. We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. 
So, what are we up against? Careful! That bioforming ray's coming! We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. And they've stolen our shield algorithms, so there's nothing we can do to stop them. Avoid being hit at all costs. I wish we'd known that before we got here. You know what happens next. The Aphelion will turn them one by one until we're outnumbered. As much as I don't like it, we have to attack that ship before they start attacking us. They could all be Dakon. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. And we can't afford to be wrong. I can't attack another Federation ship. I need alternatives. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. That's not a Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power! At least our shields are doing something against them. How long they'll hold is another question. Fire phasers! Firing. Shields at 60%. Heavy damage reported in astrometrics. Hit them with everything we've got. Aye, Captain. Taking heavy fire. Shields now at 40%. Stay with it. Keep firing. Their weapon systems are offline. There's nothing we can do for them. Let's destroy the ship and be done with it. Our focus needs to be the Aphelion. They wouldn't hesitate if they had the upper hand. Finish it. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now. one of us to take on alone, but collectively we might just have a shot. On our way. Full impulse power. Aye, Captain. Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes. Trying to re-establish. Weapons and defensive systems are down too. Engine output remains consistent, but it's not reaching its destination. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it too. We need our help on the inside to pull through. Tabula. 
I can feel the energy. Don't get too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down. Join us. Just step aside, Guardian, and we will handle them. These pests will become the vessels for our glory. You won't stand in the way of our rebirth. The Scions of the Flame will rise, and you will be a part of it. Pests? <laughs> That's rich. Coming from a bunch of body-snatching parasites. And your kind is a blight. I never should have trusted your captain. Yes. I could smell your betrayal. 
have killed you both, easily. But the part of me that is still Miranda won't let me. She compels me to bring you into the fold. I will make you one of us. <laughs> It won't work. It's the only way. I'll do it. We don't have time to stand around to try to figure another way. No. I'll take it. I know you don't want that thing inside of you. We don't know how this thing works. I'll give you the Deridium, then I'll get out of the way. You'll have to. Good idea. Ready? <laughs> Just do it, Nilly. Don't make me wait around for this.
Tell me now! I demand it! You're talking to the guy that's in charge. Pipe down while I'm at work. Carter, you're kind of scaring me. It's okay. I'm still in control. We've reached the Cartabula. Very good. Are you all right? Yeah, we're inside. That's what matters. Receiving tricorder transmissions from the away team. They're picking up our warp core resonant frequency within the aphelion. They're bleeding astride. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the cartabula. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming. This warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. Ermato away team, are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. Captain. I think we can use Judo again. Go on. Leverage the weight of their attack. If they want to drain our power, I say we give it to them. All of it. And we do it on our terms. We get all Starfleet ships to output maximum warp power at those problem frequencies. I think it'll force them to disengage. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. We don't have time for any other course of action. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I know it's a lot to put on your shoulders. But we need you, right where you are. Yes, Captain. I found an eject routine for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. Everything. 
thing I've waited for. If that thing wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. You can help me get the job done. That's the fight that matters most. But it's not the only one. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? It's not enough. We need to push this thing harder. We need more power. Inertial dampeners are failing. All warp power still being drained to the Aphelion. So that part of the plan is working. Now we need the rest of the battle group to join us. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that will siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydeck. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. Adjusting our engines now. The Cartabula? It's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the Resolute. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I don't want to be responsible for that. I'm sure. I bet my life on it. It's all our lives. Sending data to the Resolute. Updated telemetry coming from the away team. We have a new target range. Sending new parameters to engineering. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can eject the warp core if it comes to that. If it doesn't work, we're dead anyway. So give me what you've got. Consequences be damned. Aye, aye, Captain.
What's happening? We got a problem. It's not gonna eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We gotta make sure it doesn't go off the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing. Power restored. And the Aphelion is shutting down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did. The sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. We must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. It's cracked, but we're still here. We didn't rip a hole in space itself. So, not the worst that could have happened. <laughs> That's great, but it's still a problem. Three to beam back to the Resolute. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't lock on. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but we have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good, but we can do better. <laughs> And soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. That thing is down, but not out. We'll handle the stolen Federation ship, 
but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelia. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or? Or I can weave us through the battle and hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. We can't take much more damage. Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. We're almost in position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced to eradicate you. The damaged cartabula is continuing to release deadly amounts of radiation. Thankfully, it's still contained within the Aphelion. But we have comrades on that ship, and we are going to die in here I if we care. We will never submit to your Federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. We can't do that if we're dead. I won't give up on the dream. Radiation poisoning is a terrible way to go, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can render aid to your crew. Uh, no. We've crossed the eons to get here. I won't stop now. Fire Salvo! Now the radiation is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern from here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I know we're the same rank and all, but I am ordering you to go. Don't waste this, please. If you send them, we'll be stuck here. Give in to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <laughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan in my head. It's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to- There isn't. The time is now. team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Remember when I said you'd be begging us for mercy one day? This is that day. Please, we, uh, target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did to so many others who dared to confront the Takan Empire! Fire.
be my family. Even if I don't get to see you again. You'll never really be gone. Always, Nui. Family. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Ryder. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Thanks, Captain Riker. I owe you one. Yes, you do. But who's keeping count? Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please. We surrender. We need your help. Please, people support your ship. As your first officer, I have to remind you that you offered to help and they turned you down. Why reach your hand out to them again? They've surrendered. It's our duty to assist them. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. We submit. I don't know what else I can say. Please. We don't want to die. There has to be a price for all they've taken. Close channel. first order of business will be to help re-establish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Illidians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. There are many ways to help your people, and healing them is a very noble way to do so. I'll see to it that Starfleet sends a medical ship to share knowledge and technology, as long as you'll be there to spearhead their efforts. I'll gladly accept those terms. But there are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again.
Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydick. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. A challenge we don't always meet. For others, they had to pay the ultimate price. Carter Diaz had dreams of where Starfleet could take him. I think he ended up going further than he ever imagined. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. more cohesive and coherent, bound by our shared struggles, and working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. There are some new faces on board, but in time, they'll come to share our bonds as well. Engage. Space. The final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are... Resolute. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable. Centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. I was protecting my crew. It's regrettable to take any life. But when someone threatens galactic civilization, force is the correct response. And I suppose it worked. For now. 
Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Aphelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. I realize you're here to gloat, and you seem pretty confident, but... I'm not gonna let that happen. It already is happening. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother. Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide, once we're safely aboard the Resolute. For to transport. You have to hear me out, Captain. I've always stood by you. I committed mutiny for you. But if you bring those... things on board, I'll have no choice but to resign. If they're taken to the Aphelion, they will be forced into new bodies, brought back to life in a way they never asked for. They're not living beings, but they're still dangerous. And if you don't make decisions to protect us, we're gonna end up like Solana. You, me, the entire crew. We're all next. I would remind you, those life forms are to con. Not science, to con. They're not your enemy. Right or wrong, history will judge you for this moment. Transport the storage crystals aboard the Resolute. Did I hear that right? That's an order. Storage crystals are on board, in our cargo bay. Thank you. I won't forget this. I hope you realize what you've done. We don't need another captain who's gonna risk our lives just to feed their ego. This ship and this crew come first. Lieutenant. She has to hear it. We need Portal on our side. I'm not going to jeopardize that when I don't have to. So you jeopardize the rest of us. And to think, I used to look up to you. The Aphelion is targeting us, approaching rapidly. They hit us with that bioforming ray and it's over. Maximum warp, get us out of here. Where, Captain? Anywhere but here, now.
Thank you. I'm not sure one of my kind would have done for you what you did for me. I did not expect a show of mercy. I hoped, but you could have just as easily left me to my fate. Yeah. Don't mention it. I won't. Now that we're safe on your ship, I think you were right to bring her. Things seem a little different now than they did in the heat of battle. There's more than one way to deal with messy situations. You're not mad that I didn't release Atasca from her situation? After all the trials we'd survived, maybe there's more room to hope for Atasca than I thought. No surprises here, but your shoulders separated. If you come with me to sick bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh, thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're going to be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it. Everybody's going to learn how you pulled it off. And when they do, make sure they get my name right. D-I-A-Z. Diaz. Edsilars too. I'm sure no one will forget. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda... As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer. But none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. <laughs> I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You're telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. No, it was not. But it was my sincere hope you would. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. I concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. I am stating facts, not looking for excuses. I gotta admit, it's a little flattering that this place went to hell so fast without me. So, uh... I'll take that as a compliment. I believe factors other than your absence were also to blame. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. I tended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta. Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here, on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Illidians are no longer enemies. I always hoped for peace, but it seemed so far away. There's still a lot of bad blood. Maybe too much. Peace is often fleeting. If there's a chance, you should take it. Peace with our former enemies may be hard for some to accept. But it's what my people need. It's coming along nicely. 
Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms. So I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. And right now, you need the full support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust. But an issue as divisive as this can create discord. I still need and value contrary opinions. I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise. Oh, you'll know when Lieutenant Petrosian doesn't agree with something. She's not shy about making her opinion known. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Petrosian's trust, but if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Irma. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. He really couldn't go wrong with either of them. To be honest, Lieutenant Bedrosian feels like the perfect fit for the position. I would otherwise agree. But given what happened, that'll take some work on your part. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. Captain. I'll meet you inside. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. Lieutenant, we both know how much we need your help and expertise for the coming conflict. I have no one to replace you. I understand, Captain. And I apologize. But my heart is not in it any longer. And to stay would be a disservice to us both. My door is always open if you change your mind. I appreciate that. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual. But I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. Not that I'm surprised in the least. These are unusual times, Mr. Chobak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsalar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindick, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan have their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense, and with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know.
know that as well as I do. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own, as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, there are no secrets. It's a serious threat. And we're vulnerable. The whole ship is. We saw someone getting bioformed. Once it starts, there's nothing you can do. <sighs> we can't stop it, but we might be able to slow it down. It's too soon to say for sure, but... We've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. In fact, a lot of ships wouldn't have any. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain, but it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that... Buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path. Like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but that's the idea. I think Portal could still help us. If he can't get a first-hand look at the Aphelion, he might be able to identify weakness. After sparing the remnants of his civilization, I should hope he'd help us. He will. We'll need to prepare a boarding party, if it comes to that. Petty Officers Edsilar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. Sabotage is kind of becoming our specialty. We'll find a way to get the job done. Well, he certainly has the swagger for it. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. With the help of Portal, he should be part of the away team. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. Nice. 
I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it required. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edsilar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The Resolute Command Codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek. For control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek. Bravo, 7, Yankee. Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. But what I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience. And I need to rely on him now more than ever. But that's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And that's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time, but I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. Of course, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. But I guess loyalty counts for nothing with you. Listen, I value your opinion more than just about anyone's. I rely on it. And if we're going to beat Galvin, I'll need your help now more than ever. So please, don't be discouraged. I'll be fine. Just give me some time. Understand. Kimmy got everything she's got, but it doesn't make a difference. Something is actively slowing us down. Keep trying. What's the situation in engineering? I can't raise them. Internal comms are down. It's the ionic interference. It's spiking again. If we reinitialize the central communications trunk, it should compensate. If I may, Captain. Communications are critical to ship operations. I should go take care of this. Go. I was hoping we could buy enough time until Starfleet could send more ships. But it looks like we might have to face off against the Aphelion sooner than we might want. If it's just us, 
I don't like our chances. I'll consider any suggestions from my first officer. We're being pulled out of warp! <laughs> the Aphelion is closing on us, and fast! We're being hailed by the Aphelion. Galvin demands to be heard. On screen. You thought you could run? That I would let you escape so easily after taking what's mine? How pathetic and predictable. At least you can take solace knowing you'll be a far braver to calm than you were as a cowardly Koblia. Is it any wonder your people perished? If your every instinct is to run from a fight. You underestimate the lengths I'm willing to go to ensure you don't succeed. Sadly, this is as far as you'll get. We both know I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. crush you in an instant if I so desired. And as much as I'd like to, you have another purpose to serve. As one of us. Engineering section. No systems or structural damage, though. They were targeting the crew, not the ship. Captain, we have to respond. Hit him in the mouth. What are your orders? Fire photon torpedoes. Target the source of the beam. The Aphelion remains undamaged by the photon torpedoes, Captain. And its shields are fully intact. It's too powerful to take head on. Damage report from the lower decks. I still can't raise them, Captain. Could be that the system's down. Well, that was the Takan bioforming ray, and there's no one left down there to respond. The Takan may already be on this ship. No way of knowing how bad it is yet. Where's Ermont with the internal comms? Comms appear to be coming back online. System reboot in progress. I'll keep trying to reach him. Good. Here are your new tricorders. Now go. Get to the transporter room.
Transport room one. You're coming with us? A security officer told me your funeral, which I gladly accepted. These are concentrated deridium doses. You need to take the dose as soon as you're exposed for it to be effective. Hell, take it right before if you can get the Decon to wait while you do it. I'm having trouble locking onto the transporter path through the interference. I've done this before. I have to align the transporter with the tetrametric sig- There's a problem. We don't have enough power to make the jump. I might be able to divert power from- Stand aside. The signal is now resolved. I couldn't let you fumble about any longer. Time is running short. That's great. You must be Portal 6-3. Yes. Guardian of the Decon Empire. I'm Carter. Uh, engineer of the Starship Resolute. We're right behind you. Do us proud over there. Ready to transport. On your order. Energize. It's almost a shame we have to scuttle it. The galaxy has never seen a ship like this. And it won't see one ever again. It is beautiful. I'll give you that. Resolute, come in! We're losing cohesion. I'm gonna try to use my tricorder as a pattern enhancer. They didn't make it. We don't have time to mourn. We have to get to the Cartabula and disable it. Hopefully before the battle group shows up. Get served up for the Aphelion's next meal. I am... saturated in Taconian power readings. I... can't feel the source just yet. I can't reach anyone. At least not on the lower decks. It's like they're all... gone. The comm systems seem to be operational again. That bioforming ray may have transformed dozens of crew members on the lower decks. This ship could be swarming with resurrected Takan. It's only a matter of time before they come to their senses and take action. Which means we have a narrow window of time to cut them off before... Captain! We're holding them off as best we can on Deck 9, but... If they spread throughout the decks, we'll never know who to trust. A civil war aboard our own ship. Lock down the affected areas immediately. Close the bulkheads and erect the containment fields. No one is allowed in or out without my authorization. There could be crew members who weren't affected who could get locked inside. That's a risk we'll have to take. Initiating a lockdown now. What happens if some of the bioformed manage to escape? How should the crew engage them? Or should they? We don't want suspicion to run rampant. We should be cautious. 
If a situation arises, I want phasers set to stun. Of course. I'll let the crew know to proceed with caution. Have we heard anything from Commander Ermot? No. And he's been gone for quite some time. The comm system he went to investigate. It's near the affected area. Commander Ermot. Commander Ermot, can you hear me? Computer shutdown initiated. According to this, it was initiated by Commander Ermot. What? The central computer core will shut down in 10 minutes. We'll lose all critical ship functions. It can only be overridden by the captain at the core itself. With me. Identify yourselves! We're just trying to figure out what's happening. Ah, to hell with it. Is up there. I don't have much time. Captain Rydick, it's me, Commander Ermot. First Officer Westbrook insisted I find you immediately. Let me get this door open. I think I remember the code. I hope you haven't been hurt, Captain. It's not safe here. I'll get you somewhere more secure. Just about. Captain, don't do anything rash. Ah! Still getting used to these Federation weapons. Time to admit defeat. Computer termination sequence in progress, awaiting captain's authorization. Kill me. I was only acting on orders. I didn't mean any harm. 
You know we'd rather have you with us. We can make a deal, right? Come to terms. Awaiting captain's authorization. Awaiting captain's authorization. Cancel computer shutdown. Voice authorization, write it. Bravo. Seven. Yankee. Termination sequence canceled. <sighs> I control that craft. Portal, a little help? I should be able to bring it to us. Things set to maximum stun. How are they getting up? Something's different about the Takan here. Stunning isn't an option. Get in! How do you stand with them? We've left them behind. I've seen it with my own eyes. They're not real, Takan. We were conquerors, not... Parasites. The souls I pushed your captain to spare will not be used for this end. I will see to that. You are the last real Takan. Don't let them tarnish that with what they're doing. Because if we don't stop the Scions of the Flame, they will be the legacy of your people. Never. That's the attitude. Doing everything I can, but I can't shake her! I figured without me you didn't stand a chance. I'm here for the ship and the crew, not for you. I couldn't just sit in my quarters, waiting to get turned into a Takan. Your timing's perfect. We need your help now more than ever. Clearly. The only reason they haven't destroyed us is because we have bioformed Takan on the ship. That's why they're targeting our engines. Engines, we can't avoid the bioforming ray. Brace for impact! They're here! Put them through. Sorry to keep you waiting, Resolute. We got here as fast as we could. Looks like you've got your hands full with this monster. That flying chandelier really packs a punch. 
We're damn glad to see you, Captain. We could use all the help we can get. I told you I'd be here. So, what are we up against? No. It's happening again. We have to warn them. Open a channel to all Starfleet ships immediately. Starting emergency transmission. This is Captain Jara Rydek of the USS Resolute. The ship we're fighting is armed with a bioforming ray that can transform your entire crew instantaneously. Avoid being hit at all costs! And remember, they have our shield algorithms, so take preemptive evasive action. They're gone. Just like that. We have to destroy that ship. Otherwise, it won't be long before they're coming after us. They could all be Dakon. Or none of them. We can't assume anything yet. And we can't afford to be wrong. I can't attack another Federation ship. I need alternatives. Full impulse power. Take us in for a closer look. Aye, Captain. It's not a Starfleet ship. The Takan have it. Shields at full power! Shields are holding up against their attacks. But they won't for very long. Fire phasers! Firing. Reported in astrometrics. Hit him with everything we've got. Aye, Captain. Taking heavy fire. Shields now at 40%. Stay with it. Keep firing. Weapon systems are offline. Now's our chance. Finish it. We can send Galvin a message. Let him know exactly what he's up against. And that we're willing to fight to the very end. Take out their engines. Fire when ready. Targeting their engines. Commencing fire. Now. much for any one of us to take on alone, but collectively we might just have a shot. On our way. Full impulse power. Aye, Captain. Target the bioforming ray. Fire photon torpedoes. Firing photon torpedoes. Trying to re-establish. Power levels are dropping all over the ship, but our engines are still running strong. This is what happened to the Enterprise. They're draining our energy. We're caught in it too. I hope the away team is having more success than we are. Cut. 
it, Amula. I can feel the energy. Don't get too used to it. We're gonna take that thing down. Hmm. containment field from the tricorder. Oh! I don't think we can crowbar our way in. It takes a con to do it. Enough. 
murder. I could have killed you both, easily. But the part of me that is still Miranda won't let me. She compels me to bring you into the fold. I will make you one of us. Trust me, this is the best outcome you can hope for. Miranda wouldn't want that. You don't know her like I do. you if I just shot her sooner you wouldn't be like this process the change in me has already started
beat it. What is this? Who are you? Tell me now! I demand it! You're talking to the guy that's in charge. Pipe down while I'm at work. Carter, you're kind of scaring me. It's okay. I'm still in control. We've reached the Cartabula. That's great. Are you all okay? Yeah, we're inside. That's what matters. Telemetry from the away team tricorders. I'd recognize that anywhere. Our warp core resonant frequency is one of the readings. They're bleeding a stride. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the cartabula. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. And these two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming. This warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. This is Westbrook. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. You can break a wine glass if you play the right note loud enough. Sir? The Takan are so arrogant, they're letting us right in the front door with this energy drain. We can tune our warp core output to those frequencies. Get all our ships to do the same. Push it to maximum levels and we might be able to crack the wine glass, the Cartabula, and take their ship offline. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. It'll work. It has to. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I've got faith in you. And the rest of this crew. Now let's give them hell! Yes, Captain. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. 
You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. You can help me get the job done. That's the fight that matters most. But it's not the only one. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? It's not enough. We need to push this thing harder. We need more power. Inertial dampeners are failing. Warp output at 85%. They're taking the bait. Now we need the rest of the fleet. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that will siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. You can't just expect us to turn belly up. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydeck. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. in line. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. The Cartabula? It's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the Resolute. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I don't want to be responsible for that. I'm just doing what I always do. I'm an engineer. I'm following the data. Good enough for me. Sending data to the Resolute. The away team has sent us an updated target message. Sending it to engineering now. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can't afford to start second-guessing ourselves. We need to stay the course. If it doesn't work, we're dead anyway. So give me what you've got. Consequences be damned. Aye, aye, Captain.
happening? We got a problem. It's not gonna eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We gotta make sure it doesn't go up the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing. Full power. And the Aphelion is shutting down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did, the sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. We must have damaged it. Didn't get it out before it fractured. Our work here is done. Let's get out of here. <coughs> Three to beam back to the Resolute. We can't lock on. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't stay here. We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but... We have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good, but we can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. Federation ship, but you need to get a crippling shot on the Aphelion. A direct hit to its bridge will bring it down. I can take us real close, Captain. 
Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or? Or I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. I don't want to get too close to that thing. We can't take much more fire, Captain. Handar can get us through it. Take us through the battle. Get us a clear shot on that bridge. Aye, Captain. for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced to eradicate you. The Aphelion is still filling with lethal amounts of radiation, but it seems to be contained within the ship, for now at least. But they have comrades on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here if I don't care. We will never submit to your Federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this galaxy. We can't do that if we're dead. I won't give up on the dream of a new day. So much for superior beings. You don't look so superior from here. I don't have to listen to this. We've crossed the eons to get here. By a salvo! Now the radiation is rising here, too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on! Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern. From here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way! We're all leaving together! We've been through too much to split up now. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I don't have long to do this. I'm bioforming. It's happening, Nilly. I have to be the one to do it. If you send them, we'll be stuck here. Give in to me, and I will save us. Not them. Stop it. What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan. In my head, it's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to- There isn't. The time is now. team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Remember when I said you'd be begging us for mercy one day? This is that day. Please, we uh, target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did to so many others who dared to confront the Fire.
Carter? Nellie. I thought you'd want to know we made it. And that you'll always be my family. Even if I don't get to see you again. You'll never really be gone. Just promise you'll never forget me. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Ryder. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Hopefully that doesn't happen for a while. I think we all have some patching up to do. Out here, things rarely wait for you to be ready. But from what I've seen, you're ready for anything. Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people, support your ship. I know what they've done, Captain. But we can't let them die. They're our enemies today. But who knows what they could become. You saved the storage crystals. And there are other Takan. The bioformed on Hotari. On this very ship. We wouldn't be wiping them out if we didn't help the ones who tried to destroy us. It's what we do. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we d don't have much time. <coughs> we submit. <coughs> I, do I don't know what else I can say. Please. <coughs> we don't want to die. This is what separates us from them. The fact that we can make a gesture of peace even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems. Lower your defenses, and prepare to be transported. Thank you. Carter! Hey, I... First order of business will be to help re-establish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Illidians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever with all there is to experience, to learn. My devotion to my people doesn't mean I don't want to explore all the galaxy has to offer. There are many ways to help your people, and healing them is a very noble way to do so. I'll see to it that Starfleet sends a medical ship to share knowledge and technology, as long as you'll be there to spearhead their efforts. I'll gladly accept those terms. But... There are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. 
I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances. I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydek. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. For others, it takes facing complicated losses. To Carter. How do you say goodbye to someone who isn't really gone? I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but, uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, history may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. more cohesive and coherent, bound by our shared struggles, and working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved, but perhaps that too can change in time. Engage. Space. The final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are... Resolute.